Today we'll be looking at all the standard instruments found in a symphony orchestra, categorized into four different families, the strings, woodwind, brass, and percussion family. From this diagram, you can see that the strings family is at the forefront of the orchestra, so we'll dive into them first. Have a listen to Joseph Suk's Serenade for Strings in E flat major, composed in 1892 for a strings orchestra. Here you can listen to how the four instruments blend nicely to create a pleasant sound. Since that this is a classical piece, we see that the texture is homophonic and transparent. The first violins are usually the ones playing the melody, while the others accompany them. Hopefully you also notice the different articulations, legato playing on the first violins, repeated staccato notes on the second violins and violas, as well as pizzicato notes on the cellos and double basses. From those articulations we learn that strings instruments can be bowed or plucked. This here on the left is a bow, and as it travels through a string, the string vibrates to create a pitch. Sometimes the players are asked to pluck the strings using their right hand to create a short burst of sound known as the pizzicato. From the previous score, we also saw that there are four members from the strings family, and from the highest to the lowest sounding, we have the violin, viola, cello, and double bass. Since the violin is largely playing high sounding notes, it uses the treble clef. The viola, being at the core of the overall texture, will use the alto clef. Cellos are versatile and can read from their default bass clef or the tenor clef when higher notes are called for. Lastly, double basses use the bass clef. What's interesting about this lower sounding instrument is that it is a transposing instrument. It sounds so low that it only makes sense to write its notes an octave higher for ease of reading. Therefore, the double bass will always sound an octave lower than its written pitch. Also, all string instruments can be muted, indicated by the term consordini. This here on the right is how a mute looks like. Another instrument that also belongs to the strings family, but not always found in all repertoire, is the harp. Harps are always plucked and never bowed, therefore they lack the sustaining power that all other strings instruments contain. However, the range of notes available to the harp is huge, and so harpists read from a grand stop, much like a pianist. Pedals and levers are also used to retune the pitches of the strings. Now let's test ourselves on our understanding of the instruments from the strings family. Answer true or false to these statements. A. The viola uses an autoclef. This should be true. The viola does use the autoclef. B. The cello is the lowest sounding string instrument. This is false. The double bass is the lowest sounding. C. Only the double bass can be played pits. This is also false. All strings instruments can play pizzicato, although it is most effective on lower sounding instruments. D. The double bass is a transposing instrument. This is true. The double bass sounds an octave lower than its written pitch. E. Consort is to play with the bow. This is false. Consordini is to play with the mute on. F. The harp uses only the treble clef. This is also false. The harp uses the grand stuff that contains both the treble and the bass clef. 